Okay, today we're going to make some chicken biryani. It's so easy to make. There's nothing too complicated. What we need to take half cup of cooking oil and two or three strips of butter, any butter. Put it in the pan and put five onions in there. Till then, fry those five onions and then in the small fry pan. Put four onion in there, which I am at the moment um, twisting it and turning it. That's for the to mix it in the rice. So here I add some after onion. I add some tomato. If you have fresh tomato, just chop it and put it in there. If you don't have it, just use a canned one. As I don't have the fresh one, I just use a canned one. And here I'm just making the yogurt raita. It's so easy to make. It's only few ingredients, green chilies, coriander and cumin seeds, that's it, and mix it in the yogurt. And here all the ingredients is mixed properly. You keep mixing it until it gets nice and soft. Then afterwards you need to add ginger and garlic. I'm just using over here the frozen one. The frozen one is so nice, it saves your time. And here I marinate the chicken overnight. I just marinate chicken is turmeric ginger garlic salt pepper and chicken biryani masala all of them i marinate it and leave it overnight so that mixture i mix it with onion and tomatoes so still then that is cooking itself so on high flame so here, here i'm preparing for the next thing so the onions are nearly brown now so what we need to do we need to take them out in a taper or on a plate so at the end when we mix the rice we put it on the rice and it's nearly done now and the third thing is what we're gonna do we're gonna take a tray and put pour uh, some water and put some bamboo sticks in there so soak them for a while maybe 20 or 15 minutes the reason for it when we're gonna put some tic chicken tikka on there the, the sticks won't get burned that's a really good trick if you follow it so here i'm gonna put some gloves on my hand because my hands was burning already and the gloves are a little bit big so that's why i'm just putting on rubber bands so that they won't get off again and again there's a mixture of chicken tikka and it was amazing i tried it first time and it's turned up really nice so i got bamboo sticks what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna put all the chickens in the bamboo stick first you need to soak the bamboo stick 15 for 20 minutes in the water after that just take it out and the chicken you marinate it for overnight I marinate this chicken for overnight just put on the bamboo sticks slowly slowly and today my sister was coming to my house so I just thought let's make something special for her and I just tried this recipe and then the one of the recipes is called Muthiya Kebab. This is made with the mince. So I just put it in the same bowl and, and at the end I just check it. There was less salt. Always whatever you make, always try the stuff. Like if you just fry it or just cook it and check what's less in there. If it's salt or chili, just add it there. Otherwise, if you like the taste of the food, then definitely the person who's gonna came to your house, that person will definitely like the food. And here what you need to do to make the muthiya kebab, what you're going to take, do take some of the mixture in your hand and keep pressing with both hands, right, left, right, left. Then it's came from really good size, like a muthiya um, kebab, then you're going to keep just pressing and just put it in the plate. I made loads of them. It was loads of spare. So what did it do? Rest of them, I just put it in the freezer. I thought next time I will use it when I when I want to eat it and it's nearly done now and if you guys got loads of spare food what you need to do just put them in the freezer and this looks like this the taste was very nice and after first I just put it in the freezer so I can make it next time and the food was nearly ready and my sister was just arrived and I was quickly finished the food till then my sister and her husband was making dining table for me they was very helpful my god I was making food in the kitchen and both of them they was making the dining table 
in next vlog i will upload that one as well with how they build up the dining table and here i nearly make everything ready so the chicken journey is nearly ready to go how the details are really good i think to make sure when it's gone cooked properly you need to cook it on high flame and make sure stand next to it and when i want to do the work in the kitchen i make sure i put some newspaper it so i don't like it the oil going everywhere so at the end i just pick up the news and then straight away chuck into the bin then afterwards we need to um, add some prunes in there i love prunes even my sister's kids love prunes i especially get for them from the shop in the supermarket and here i just add more half packet of the prunes and they their taste is so yummy and it looks really nice and uh, my kitchen is looks like this and the setting is a bit like that i was just showing you how they looking like this and i just thought let's put some dates as well some muddy words and have some dates so i just afterwards i bought some dates and i made this try for as well for my sister so i just thought let's let's make something special to make that place special special so here we got some ice creams and stuff and afterwards let's boil some rice for the biryani here's five uh, four jugs of water no sorry three jugs of water and four tablespoon of cooking oil and four tablespoon of lemon and one tablespoon of zira or cumin seeds and cover it and just let it boil as soon as it get boiled just add soaked rice in there and just stir a little bit and after that cover it make sure don't stir too much otherwise all the rice going to get broken so make sure just stir a little bit and when you think is half cooked and half full then strain out make sure do not cook fully otherwise it's going to be get too much soft and the rice was done and here i just moved the chicken i checked the chicken there was very less salt in there so i just at the end i just add some salt and make sure always whenever you make something always try it and here just after warm the chicken i just pour some rice on there and that's it and add some color sorry i was just in too much hurry that's why i didn't show it to you so easy process just add chicken warm chicken then put some rice then coriander and that's color that's it that's done Then the next step is pour some oil in the pan and then put the mutia kebab on there and fry it on the medium to uh, high flame and afterwards just put on the low flame it's so easy to um, cook those kebabs and here i'm just get ready because my sister was arrive and i was ready just quickly get ready so and she's just standing next to me and she brought a, a melon for me and a one one kind of a sweet um i don't know what's the thing called we were normally using the sweet rice and she's cutting the melon for me and i thought let's make a vlog it will look nice and this is the sweet thing which i was talking about we use in the uh, sweet rice and she got for me so i just she just put it in the jar for me in the you can put in the fridge and i just cooked the muthiya kebab and next is chicken tikka i'm doing it you can't believe that the bamboo stick was too long and i just cut some of the Mistakes. At the end, I was not sure what to do. What to do? Then at the end, I was like, "Thanks, God." The idea came in my mind to cut those bamboo sticks. Otherwise, the sticks was too long, and I couldn't able to close the lid. As you know, that the chicken gonna be raw from inside if I didn't close the lid. So it's nearly done now. Look at that! How oh, delicious is it? So juicy and yummy. It was nice as well. I tried it first time, and the biryani was nearly cooked. We wasn't. I was in so much hurry and couldn't able able to take the pictures properly. You guys can see just from there, and the biryani is mashallah nearly ready, and you can see from here. Hope you like like my vlog, and I will show you what my sister and her husband was doing in the other room. They was making the dining table for me, so I will show you in the next video. Here the biryani is nearly ready, so you can just see from there. I'm just mixing it and everything. as it was lack of time i couldn't able to make proper video <laughs> because we were starving as we were, as we was fasting and here the chicken biryani is ready and chicken tikka is nearly done 
and last me pour in some rice and hope you guys like my vlog if you like it please remember me in your prayers see you next time bye bye